we have to flip how we think about it. I've read a lot of Trisha Rose, a lot of Bell's Hooks to get here because, and I'm not, I'm still interrupting women too much in conversation. I'm still getting rid of the residue in my brain. But like, we need a lot more and it's not gonna be on Twitter. It's actually gonna be us having these conversations. Most women I'm meeting are in this industry, like they're working. It's Which like, wow, I'll right? be interviewing a woman, I'm like, damn. We have a lot of, but it's like, yo, we're interviewing. Like yeah, she's yeah. interested. Maybe she's interested, but she's, but she's doing because she's job. doing a job. Women are great. I've right. had every relationship I had. I'm just saying, like, I don't get these songs. Like there be songs about women. I'm like, what women y'all talking about? <laughs> I don't know them honestly. Right. Like, but what a man was is it, was, it still is confusing. So now, like after years of I've read, I've read certain books, Bell Hooks books. I've read um, this book, King, Warrior, Magician, Lover, that I recommend that allows you to understand, like, a king is not always a tyrant. To me, that's how I've evolved. It's mainly, I think that, I, you know, in Long Live the Chief, I say, leave, follow, or get the fuck out the way. For men right now, in, in, in terms of women, a lot of it is either follow or get the fuck out the way. You don't need to lead, you don't need to teach, you need to listen, and you need to get out of ways, which means... It, you're you're blocking a way of access like a king looks at his ground as fertile which is a, a word that's usually associated with women but if you understand it as a, as power that when it's a fertile ground people can grow then that's when you're truly a king my my hope is that we can provide we can get to a new place as men that understand that our masculinity is not being threatened right now it's actually being strengthened by women being empowered. Yeah. And I don't think women should be taking care of the children more than men. It may be a little bit. I mean, the woman carries. I think there's a, there's differences. Um, but I, I think that that's one of the first things that I, I care about. The second thing, and I'm taking this from Rwanda, um, where 65% of the parliament is, is women. Mm. So I would put more women in office than men and see what happens. I want to go around where, like, I don't, things ain't working this way. <laughs> you know what I mean? You wouldn't need to provide if women made the same as men uh -huh. or more. Like the U.S. soccer team, they should be making more than the men's soccer team. Uh -huh. We Based got like the Brazilian squad, uh -huh. essentially, in terms of uh, soccer, soccer yeah, yeah. In, in women's soccer. Uh -huh. That's what the USA is. Uh-huh. They, it's not, I don't think they should be fighting for the same. They should be fighting for more because yeah. their value is way more. So our portrayal of women um it continues uh to be some pimp ho shit mm -hmm. um and we think that shit's fly and it ain't the idea that you like all these feelings for men that hurt people hurt people so yeah. mm -hmm. when you see men hurting uh women or or trans folk or or, or themselves is because we don't know how to express that mm -hmm. at all um and i'm still learning day by day Many times it's the women that reassemble us. Mm -hmm. A lot of my manhood training came from women. I really think that we need to move away from the patriarchal countries that we have across the continent because it's really denying a whole sector uh, of, in the private sector of, of women entrepreneurs. Now y'all are rising and I see it left and right. My sisters, two of my sisters, are included, you know, they would be considered motherland moguls. I just want uh, there to be more access for all of you. Well, I know you attended the march in Washington, D.C. Yeah. Why was it important for you to do that and participate? I mean, the women have been deprioritized mm -hmm. for so long. Let them and know. That's, that's the day that women can say, hey, we are the priority today. Yeah. Uh, how many times do you see men men's marches and and, and, yeah. and women are always there yes. so how could i not be there you know? in times when there are few men of honor there will come amidst them few men who carry the honor of many on this television program there's a proverb my mother lives by she says that anything a man can do she can fix so shout out to all y'all <laughs> for real